welcome back to V Top 10 in today's video we're ranking the 5 Donnie Snake Nites best knockouts. Number 5. Donnie Nites vs Raul Garcia. On May 28, 2016, defending WBO in the ring junior flyweight titles Nites beat Raul Garcia by corner stoppage in round 5 of 10. Donnie again. Uh, Nietes. Not a good right by Nietes. Game World Champions in the same fight, kind of. Yeah. First time there. Good right. Oh, good. Tia by Raito. Nietes got 10 on countering. Good left foot. Tactically, Donnie Nietes. Look for the opening. Big right hand by Nietes. Another right hand by Nietes. Oh, big left. Big left. He hurt him. He hurt him. He's down. 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 A huge comeback. Another right hand again. This time. Oh, big right hand. Great. Oh, beautiful, oh, beautiful shot. shot. Oh, holy, holy. Holy, holy, you cannot. On the right straight. Oh. Another right straight. You know, even though he's going through knockdowns, Dali by Garcia. Body shot. Another body shot. Ten seconds. Yeah. University of Saint Lasalle. At Ayona. 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 Number four, Donny Nietes versus Juan Carlos Rebeco. On February 24, 2018, defending IBF flyweight title Nietes beat Juan Carlos Rebeco by TKO at 0:53 in round seven of 12. The other guy. Lower base tonight by the tactical effectiveness of Donnie Nietes. He's just a very crafty guy. But in the closing seconds of Rocky Box Count, Nietes is doubling Rebecca in landed punches. I, I bring this metaphor up from time to time. I mean, he's on a 14 year winning streak. Uh, period of time, that's the guy that gets me excited. Well, and that Tito Gonzalez could never have really known. They tend to age very quickly once they hit about 30. In that respect, he's very much like Andre, I think. But I don't even think he realizes that right now. And yet Nietes is right in front. Rebecco's in a real tough spot right now in this fight. Nietes is hard to hit. E Paper wants to be, but Nietes is comfortable inside. Face or a jab to the stomach just to let Rebecco know, I see what you're going to have to sell out a little bit. Be willing to get to get hit. To right. Rebecca, what he's doing, it's not working. It will be time to go to plan B. Which he's been doing this round. That's that Rebecca left hook is one of the best punches he's landed in the first <laughs> point. One of James Tony's favorites. <laughs> but now Nietes has a sitting. And I think this is highly questionable for the California Commission. Yeah. Obviously Six, compromised. Seven. Hey, come to me. Come to me. Come to me! His corners Come allow to him to continue. His, his legs are not obeying his it's brain. Stop it, right here. Stop. Number 3. Donnie Nietes vs. Sammy Gutierrez. On November 30, 2013, defending WBO Jr. flyweight title Nietes beat Sammy Gutierrez by knockout at 2.58 in round 3 of 12. He has to treat it with a lot of seriousness because he go the United States and Japan. And we wouldn't, we wouldn't rather be anywhere else. Donnie Nietes. Early attack from attack nice right spread Oh, energy, and energy and he comes making charging sure that forward. Gutierrez is okay. Good uppercut, good combination. 10 seconds left in the round. Boy, he's hammering him. Back action. But he's a former world champion. He's fought world ranked boxer. Yeah. Got his head down. Yeah, he keeps his head down. Time's blind. Not much uh, lateral movement. This is our final. Fi Good. Hopping left by Nietzsche. Another solid right from Vegas. His timing down pass. Like him as he stepped forward. He's actually looking at the waist of the footer. Good uppercut by Nietzsche. Inaccurate, so the ball is throwing uh, the chairs off. Flash and Lorde was world champion on the scene. Oh! That's my boy. Oh, oh popping down. right. I'm not on his knees. When he gets up, he looks at his corner.
Number 2. Dani Nites vs Armando Vasquez. On April 9, 2011, Nites beat Armando Vasquez by knockout at 226 in round 1 of 10. Times in Mexico. Dani Nites is carried his weight well as he moved up. An impressive win and he'll get a title shot. 105 now uh, to 108. Tama. He is uh, connected with a good, uh, good left, but a one-two combination from from Donny Nietes. And when they come, they come to fight. Yeah, pero si Nietes look really good in the. Maganda talaga. Sa mga yung focus, discipline, good, oh, nice. oh, good hard left. Yeah. I shook Vasquez with that left hook of his it's hard solid, right. Solid Nietes. Wow. Tries to counter, but he's way, much slower than Nietes. Wow. Good one-two one, combination. Then Calabon. Eh, mabilis then the Mexicano. Saka matapang. He was sleeping when... Oh! oh, oh right hook. It's over. This it's is the off. first round. Over. Oh, Bruce McTavish stops the fight. Number 1. Donnie Nietes vs. Moises Fuentes 2. On May 10, 2014, defending WBO Junior Flyweight title Nietes beat Moises Fuentes by TKO at 256 in round 9 of 12 and one vacant the ring Junior Flyweight title. Filipinos, el público filipino sabe que será una guerra. Cómodo logró asestar dos ganchos importantes. Ese es el gancho bonito del de propio atacarlo. Entra, sale, entra, sale. Generando espacio. El boxeador debe elaborar una pelea, debe elaborar su pelea. Alarga ligeramente el paso. Los golpes poderosos. Por parte de muchas fuentes, golpe entra en dos, tres ocasiones. La decisión de golpes es importante. Está pegando golpe por golpe. Para ir hacia adelante, sigue oh, con movilidad. Oh, 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 pero le faltó rematarlo con la izquierda, tu rojo. Ofrece el costado izquierdo donde la mano derecha de Don Inietes ha entrado a placer y le mete las manos a Yamal Fuentes. Un tremendo en este momento de la batalla. La mano. Es que está claro. Rodolfo, sería difícil convencer a alguien que no vio la oh, primera. Que no van los impactos con la misma velocidad. Y vaya. Thank you for watching, please like, comment and subscribe.